Hi friends, it's Firewally here. Uh, I just fixed a thing on my Arius plates and I want to talk to you about it because you might be able to fix it too. Uh, first let me back up a step. I just got this new Sony action camera uh, that my lady friend got me for my birthday and it's really great. Um, mostly I'm going to do action camera stuff with it, skating and running and whatever, uh, videos of my dog. Um, but I also thought it might be useful to do uh, gear videos because it's so... Um, it's got this weird little fisheye effect, right, that I'm... But if I, um, if I get stuff right up in there, it's so small that you can really see what I'm talking about. So, uh, let's try it. I don't know. So, coincidentally, I just got uh, my skates back from the shop, uh, and they fixed a very annoying but very um, simple problem with my Arius plates. So, I skate on the uh, Powerdyne Arius plate, which is made by Rydell. So, uh, what makes this plate different from a traditional uh, roller skate frame is instead of a kingpin oh, and a separate truck, it just has a molded, molded piece there that holds on uh, a simpler plastic, uh, well, plastic piece uh, with a metal axle, but plastic truck that uh, the only moving part in this whole assembly is this, um, is this cushion. So, instead of a a kingpin that rotates on an axis and also um, rotates at a pivot cup. There's only the one point of rotation here, which is this um, this cushion. And what that does is it gives it a great, uh, very simple mechanism that only has one thing to adjust. So instead of adjusting uh, cushion hardness and kingpin length and um, truck tightness, you only have to pick a different cushion. They come in like six different um, hardnesses. I have uh, one of the softer varieties here. It's a light, light blue color. Um, anyway, so I love them for the response and the stability, but what I didn't like about these plates is they were not holding on the toe stops very well. So I would, I, so they come with a little set screw uh, that you use to tighten down and that holds the toe stop in place. Uh, so I tried just about everything to try to keep a toe stop in these plates. I um, taken this set screw and just cranked it all the way down with an Allen wrench, even with like an extra wrench for extra leverage. I had uh, added another uh, locking nut, like um, you see in some, uh, in a lot of like beginner skates have just the, the nut here. I had added that nut. Um, I had tried uh, Loctite and also uh, plumber's tape. Neither of those did the job um, because you can see there are, I'm trying to get right in there, this is tough. You see those two, two pieces there that hold the toe stop together? And the set screw that brings those two together. The problem is the set screw never got in far enough to bring those two pieces together. And so eventually the toe stop would start to, start to wiggle and then it would just start to become totally loose and then actually it just totally dropped out of my plate um, the other day while I was skating. So you can see the old toe stop had just a bunch of damage on it um, from, from being in that situation and having the, trying to clamp it down but not actually getting locked in by the, uh, by the threads. So it was ruining toe stops and I was losing them, so that's a problem. Um, and the fix actually turned out to be very, very simple. I brought, uh, brought my plates to the fine folks at Derby for All, and Eric brought it to Rydell, and they, they'd actually made a design change in the new Arius plates, um, that they changed this set screw. So if you see the one I have in here now, has this little, uh, little flange around the outside. So the problem with the old set screw that my skates had before it had that little flange is the set screw itself, uh, it was just like bigger cylinder, smaller cylinder with threads. The bigger cylinder could fit into the hole and uh, it would tighten there before the threads uh, fully grabbed the other metal piece uh, and it was never really holding on to the toe stop. Um, so eventually it um, you it, it lost it. It came came loose and fell right out. Uh, but now I haven't skated on these yet. But it looks like from everything I can tell, just cranking it with my hand, the um, the new set screw holds the toe stops much better and fixes a big flaw in in what you know what was a big problem with these plates. 
So uh, if you, I think if you bought an RDS plate today, it would come with that new set screw and you would not have this problem anyway. Um, but if you have an existing RDS plate and are losing toe stops or they're coming loose or anything like that, uh, it's an easy problem to fix. So either uh, find, find your own set screw with a flange on it or uh, talk to Rydell and see if they'll send you a new, um, a new set of the screws that they now put on the new plates. Um, I'll, I'll say that I've skated on Powerdyne plates most of my derby career now, first the Revenge and now the Arias, and in both cases I was pretty rough on them, like I broke a bunch of uh, Revenge trucks, I broke a set of uh, Revenge plates just right down the where the, they keep the toe stop, and uh, in every case they've been excellent about um, offering warranty service, offering replacement plates, offering reasonable upgrades, uh, they really stand behind the product. So. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks Rydell and thanks Derby for all for helping me out.